All right, guys, for the Enbel Magna Car guys, we have a new tool. This is a piece of aluminum that has been cut to a 125-ish OD um, with a hole for an 059 drill, drill blank. And the reason why it's here is to do this. This is a used end bell. I just grabbed one and threw it in there. But what this will allow you to do is it'll allow you to put that in there and see if it's centered on the comm. We've had multiple instances of, uh, you know, just different end bells that, you know, different manufacturers, doesn't matter, to where the brushes look like they're centered when they're just sitting in there. But once you put a motor in, the top one or the bottom one does not have as much tension. So what this does is this will show you if you're centered. So you can just slip this rod through. Um, see, it's not quite centered. And then you can adjust your arms and this thing should just fall right through with it straight up and down. See, if I can get it to start, it'll fall through. So it's it's a fine adjustment tool. It'll also let you see where your brushes are hitting the comm without the motor and the wires, without the interference. Because uh, I know that's one thing that I struggle with myself, is if I want to see where exactly the brush is contacting the comm. The the, the motor just gets in the way. So a tool like this is good for most people. I, I suggest when you in try and install this, sorry, I'm trying to get my hands around the camera. When you try and install this, you put it on, on, on the rod. Camera's just not focusing very well today. And you can kind of line it up. And you drop it in there. You can even leave your tool in there if you really want to. Make sure it's not contacting the arms, you know, so you can make adjustments. Slides right down in. Um, but it'll all, you know, so it's it's there because sometimes the tension when the arm is in the relaxed state will, it will look different uh, than what it actually is and vice versa, uh, depending on the arm, because... This end bell, it's really hard to tell, but the bottom one looks like it's a little higher than the top one when you just look at it. Um, see if I hold this, yeah, this is a reject end bell, but you can tell the bottom arm's a little bit further up through the hole, but the tension is even. And this was a good end bell when I started, uh, like when it went in the car originally. So, you know, so what it shows you is. That's actually an even tension, even though it looks like it's slightly off. Um, and that's one of the things that sometimes when you work on an end bell, it's very frustrating. And it's a simple tool. I don't remember what they're going to retail for just yet, but I will have them online soon, tonight, today. Um, so it's just a cool little tool. It's a nice little verification before you go through and break an end bell in for five hours, so like some guys do. Uh, just to be able to make sure that it, you know, it's holding this, you know, you just want it, you want to, you don't want to press it against the bushing either. You want to give it a little bit of clearance so that way the arms will let it float. Um, you know, if you put too much, if you put too much, you know, tension on it from something else, so that can be a problem. So it's a cool, neat little tool. Um, and we'll have those for sale soon. Uh, and you know, if you have any questions, let me know.